last okay, to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. It's not your baby. It's Alvin's. Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Tavia. Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of me. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Mm. One long day, and now it's night. Night. And the spirits of death. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Huh. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but... It does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous! Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Okay, okay, sorry. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. There are a few along the roof. Do they work? I've never heard them on. Actually, neither have I. They're turned off, but it's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Stupid. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. He did look pretty rough. You guys should take a look in the mirror sometime. We should get the radio to Luke. It doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that, but the herd is still what's going to get us out of here. Maybe Luke can tell us where it's hitting from. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. Uh-uh, no. Improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. This is nuts. No, it's not. It's perfect. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. 
Lee covered me, and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. Yeah, Tom. All right, what are we waiting for? Tell Let's Tom get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Oh, oh, oh. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at her. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. She was with you. Bull crap. I know she ain't with me. For our sake. Man, you're not gonna believe what I'm looking at. There's gotta be two or three thousand of them out there. In the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. So you're not sure? Of course. What about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. Click on. Xavier. Crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill? Go on. Nah, it's just... I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe... Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. The moan is always... Uh, and always... I wouldn't figure that. Never got uh, used to light buzzing or anything? Uh, uh, dead human beings walking around? Uh, so what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. 
There's a fix. Yep. Nobody kills. Try backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Ooh. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. Get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? You guys seem worried. You kidding? I'm just about keeled over. You little devil. Devil? I'm an angel. I'm a little angel. Everybody stay where you are. No need drawing suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Thanks, Jane. Anyway, get some rest. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Well, he was just always run? running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Ugh. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. Uh. I don't want to hear about Doc. I mean, Duck. Duck, not Doc. Always the quiet ones. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Oh. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. But I gotta pee, too. All right, look, if we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him, I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? If I did it once, I could do it again. Come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would- There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. You don't trust me to get a radio to someone? Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to Peck. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Oh. Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Whatever. Whatever. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Uh. I'm gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Oh, 
Let's go. Oh, s sorry. It's just you were looking so sus. Thought you were gonna say, "Wait, we gotta do something first, and then we're gonna go do what I need y'all to do." Hey, she's with me. Oh shit! I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Ow! Wait, wait. What's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, City Mouse. Oh. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. It's nothing that'll hurt her. Okay. It's okay. Come on. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it uh. had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Yes. Those pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? Oh, no, no. I'm not anxious. You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. You can trust me. Bonnie, Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Well, I gotta go do some work. Bye.